all the way from Europe, we have Rob, Famicom Colors version for the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo line. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here, of course bringing you another unboxing video, this time of the Famicom Colors Rob, but I will be doing a comparison to the original Rob that was released in North America. Now if you know your stuff about Amiibo, over here in North America, there was never released Rob individually as a single pack, you had to get the triple retro pack that came with Rob, Mr. Game & Watch, and Duck Hunt, so that was one of the appealing factors of me actually getting this. Of course the second one is that this is a slightly different color variation, so I thought I would pick, up, pick it up anyway. Anyways, Amiibo collectors, our wallets must be going dry slowly but surely because we were spending so much money on collecting all these Amiibos, but obviously I just want to keep going, especially until the end of the Super Smash Brothers line. Alright, let's actually open this up. Now, Rob the Robot, I know I run Nintendo collecting and I have the channel, but Rob the Robot something that I've never been able to get my hands on. As a collector, I've been so patient, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on any single item, so I'm always trying to look for an outstandingly good deal. So please comment below, do you have Rob in your collection actually as the character, whether it's the one from the Famicom, or it's the one in North America, or in Europe, or wherever, wherever else you are in the world? Because I do want to get my hands on him, but the NES set that he comes with, if I'm buying that full set, sells for like $400. It's just simply too much money for me to buy on one single item. I gotta get Rob though. Maybe I'll just get one from Japan because they do tend to be a little bit less expensive. Now this box, giving me some issues right here. All right, so most of it's done. There we go, let's see if we can actually open up this guy. Now, the size is going to be the exact same, obviously, it's just the slight color variation. It's kind of interesting that Rob was designed with two different colors when he was released. Different color for Japan than North America, not always sure why they do that. I think let's just leave that right over there. All right, so there we go, let's just pull Rob out right there. So just taking a look at this figure first and foremost, just to give you an idea of what he looks like, because he does look really stunning. I like this red look. It looks like it's red chrome metallic, kind of. Just like Rob would be, I'm sure, if I had him in the first place. So the bottom down here, it does say Family Computer Robot right on him, just like it probably would if you had the figure itself, but I don't. I love how this is connected here, that back tube pipe. I'm not sure what to call it, but it looks fantastic. His body looks really cool as well. You cannot see any of the stand because he is up a little bit off the stand, but you can't obviously see any of the logo for the Super Smash Brothers. His head looks absolutely cool as well. I cannot believe that he's a character in Super Smash Brothers. That's really exciting. I really enjoy that actually. So just to give you an idea of the height, if you're wondering if you missed the unboxing video for the original Rob, which I will put a link in the description below the video, he is just over three inches tall. And in terms of centimeters, that means he is roughly eight centimeters tall. All right, let's take a good look at the comparison between these two. Now, this one obviously is very much colored and designed after the Famicom that obviously was released in Japan. So that was a red console that kind of had this like yellowish tinge to it, especially over time. Sometimes plastics went yellow over time. So that's why this one's designed this way. But in North America, the Nintendo Entertainment System was gray. It was gray and black for the most part, with a little bit of red as well. So that's probably why they just wanted to make it match the console, because they wanted to make it look like it was a pair. So you're not just selling a game console, you're selling this robot, which is pretty cool. So the color variations, they do look different in terms of plastic because one is more yellowed, it looks like here. This one looks a bit more gray. And of course the red detail work and the red touches are different. Also on the bottom here, this one does say Rob and it's kind of really hard to make out the other words right there. Let me just see if I can get a close in and see if I can actually focus on it. I don't even think I can read it. It's a bit too small for me to read right now. There is the switch in the back which is really neat actually. So there's a switch in the back for both of them right there, which is really fantastic actually. That looks really cool. It says on and off, you have a little switch with both of them. So they are the exact same other than the wording on them, of course, and then the color variations of the red and then the white to, I guess, a bit more clear. This one looks a little bit more like clean gray. This one looks a bit more yellow. And that was just the design of the Famicom versus this Nintendo Entertainment System. So I really like these. I think they're really cute. I think they're really neat. I cannot believe he's a character in Super Smash Brothers. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Let me know, do you think this is just a cop out of Nintendo? Do you think this is their appeal to just get more money from you to buy another Amiibo? Or do you actually think the color variation is worth it? I was considering importing the Famicom colors anyways from Japan. So I was actually happy to see this release in North America. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, feel free to fill that like bucket and hey do me a favor follow me on Instagram there's a link in the description below the video to that as well remember as always go collect them all and just keep smiling while gaming thanks for watching everyone